How's it going, folks? Welcome back to World of Warcraft, The War Within. Uh, we are just... We've just reached the final zone. I want to... But we're not done with the Hallow Fall main quest. Yep, maybe after I talk to her. Let's have a chat to Aleria first. I'm on the hunt. I have hunted demons across the Great Dark. If Zalatad thinks she can escape me, then she is more foolish than I thought. They will not escape. Farron? We owe our service to those in need. What fools we are! In my heart, there is fire. Heroes never die. Damn it all! We were too hasty, and now my people are paying the price. We were fools to think the Nerubians wouldn't be prepared for an incursion. Narathi soldiers are made of stern stuff, but even they will struggle to walk off an airship crash. I will keep everyone here safe. Please, go into the field and rescue as many people as you can. Despite everything, the Arathi find joy. Alright, so this brings us to the Az Azja Azja Azkahet storyline. And we've got a lot of side quests to do back there. Which brings me to a bit of a crossroads, because I would like to get all those side quests done. But this storyline is pressing here. So maybe I'll do this first, and then we'll go back after we've done it, and then I'll mop up side quests. My arrow strike true. Chasing the light, Anduin survived the swarm. I do not doubt that for a moment. Even so, the Nerubians are everywhere, and he is just one man. Wherever he goes, wherever he's taken, I will find him. Find me any sign that he yet lives. That is all I need to follow him to Azeroth's end. I do not miss. Anduin would not have given up without a fight. He has to be down there. And off she goes. And off we go. However, I will take this guy's quest because maybe it's related. The warriors of the sacred flame. The second front. Our reinforcements are already inbound. These spiders just decided where our next war will go. Clear a landing zone for General Steel Strike. We are all the Emperor's subjects. Let's get in there. Wrapping me up. New chess piece. I think I'm probably due for a transmogrification soon. All right, so we've got crumpled line gauntlet. Bleached bones, scrap of weathered fabric, wounded arrow knights rescued signal a landing field. Arrow knight, get up. Light forth and this place is a nightmare. Enemies are starting to get a little chunky around here. Bunch of level 80s. Scrap of fabric. Where? Let's see. Oh, here we go. 
though it is but a scrap. The worn threads of this fabric seem familiar. On your feet? I was sure I was spider food. Not today. Landing field must be further along. Ascension is mine. Not so much. Going deeper and deeper underground. Is that our opening over there? It's a bit larger area over that way. One more arrow knight needed. All right. Let's head off in this direction. What is that? It's just all... What is that? It's like a mine or something. Slam scavenger. Some kind of mutated, like, Moloch? It's got mandibles, though. Moloch fused together with a spider. We found a gauntlet. Let's put out the signal. Here they come, I think. Oh, oh, establishing. Establishing base. I must ensure my people survive. I will not risk the Nerubians flanking us again. Their ambush is now our staging ground. Caution is warranted. Building a second front here will be costly. However, the enemy was kind enough to provide some of those resources. That air spice, air space is mined. Around. Mine with a D. Our advantage is air superiority. The Nerubians are threatening that with their mines. Your mount is more maneuverable than our skiffs. Get in their air, get in the air and take those mines out. I will deploy what resources I can to provide you some blessings to improve your capabilities. We are surrounded by dangers. I will not yield this ground. Get out there and kill anything with more than two legs. Our holy mission takes a toll. Yes, General.
can destroy Nerubian mines. Okay. So I might need another blessing, thanks. Come from the top, taking them down with all those blessings. Thankfully, none of these appear human. It seems unlikely that Anduin met his demise here. Pray for the flame to show us the way. Well done. The right weapon for the right front. We lose so many to the darkness. Well done again. The darkness comes. We are prepared. The second front's established. Okay, so maybe we can get this established first. And then I'll be alright to go back to Halo 4 and mob up those side quests. Maybe any sign of that woman who saved us no but i did find tracks leading south and there's something foul down there as well we will find zalatath you've returned i trust you have news the crumpled line gauntlet the reticulated pieces are bent and broken beyond repair she cannot hide from me a shattered gauntlet and some scraps of cloth but no corpse that's good at least he's alive, and he fought back. Still, it's not much to go on. Most rangers would be understandably stumped. Luckily, I am not most rangers. I will not fail again. I thank you, Seen. On behalf of those you saved, no one deserves to die alone in the dark, least of all in a place like this. Don't give in to fear. Upgraded helm? If you are lost in darkness, we are here to help. When we crashed, the Nerubians were upon us in an instant. We would have lost nearly everyone we brought with us had someone not intervened. I do not know who or what stepped in on our behalf, but if there is even a shred of hope that we have allies in this place, then we must seize upon it and refuse to let it go. Be strong, my friend. We need to regroup. There's no time. You find the others. I'll find Anduin. Ashes! She's gone! Whoever saved us earlier clearly isn't a friend to the Nerubians. Seek her out. I'll get everyone to safety. It's quite the expanse there. Alright. Oh, big fella. Big fella. Big fella. Big fella stomping his way over. This doesn't sound good. Maybe I should fly. Can only use this outside. Maybe I can't fly. Is there another way in? So, you survived the ambush. Impressive. Ah, you hail from above. Orwena. 
I have seen many things threaten the giant roots, the great roots, though I admit that the black blood seems particularly virulent. Who are you? Who I am is none of your concern. I have watched you since you and yours started trekking through the depths. I think you have a good heart, and I think you understand the threat that this black blood seems to pose to our world. For now, that will have to be enough. I'm not at liberty to say any more. Black blood, what is that? It is what you see before you. Blood of ancient enemies that has coalesced deep within the earth. The black blood was dislodged when the world itself suffered a grievous wound. It has been spreading ever since. And it is dangerous. That is all you need to know. Wild guide you will. Let nature take its course. Ah, you survived. Excellent. You have much to do. I shall watch for you. I have seen many things threaten the great roots, though I admit that this black blood seems particularly virulent. May you lend your For naught so us. vile? Truthfully, I don't care what the Nerubians are plotting. They're not the first upstart people seeking power, and they certainly won't be the last. The problem is how they're going about it. I fear that tampering with the Black Blood will threaten far more than the delicate ecosystem of Kazalgar. We must make sure that they never return to this pit again. Their equipment is still strewn throughout the pit. Destroy as much of it as you can manage. Perhaps we'll meet again. This is not exactly the place for a long talk, so I will be brief. These roots you see are part of something much greater than you know and it is my job to protect them. If it isn't obvious to you already, this place is teeming with writhing black blood. If we do not act, it will spread deeper and further still. You want allies? Fine. Help me cleanse the place and protect these roots, and I will at least hear you out. Do not fear that the black blood is dangerous, especially in Nerubian hands. End their efforts here. I will meet you above, if you survive again. She's a bat, okay? Bat lady? Horrid effusia of God. This wacky stuff. It's a bunch of worms. A bunch of worms that look like a brain. Listen to the scary sounds. Strikes is right here.
Well, it says it's cleansed, but I see plenty more enemies on the way out. Creepy, creepy sounds. Three more extractors. Alive. I knew I was right about you. You have shown your true form. Or when that this is forbidden. The black blood spreads deeper every day. We need their aid. We need nothing from them. Enough. We both know our charge. They are of this world, and they too seek to defend it. On higher. She speaks with the song of the world. You know it. As do I. The others won't hear of this. At least it will not be the first tradition we have broken. Go, all of you. I will join you soon. Interesting that I couldn't click on three of them, but... The, the fourth one that I could... You have come far, stranger. The world watch over you. Orwena scowls that Nerubians are a bold people, but this seems extreme even for them. I shall watch for you. Between your sweat and my spell work, we've managed to at least contain the problem to this blighted cavern. Still, what a disaster. If this is what one cave of stuff can do, I shudder to think what the Nerubians might do with more of it. Do not fear the dark. Alone in the dark. May you lend your song to hers. My people do not think that this black blood is a threat to our world. It has sat dormant for ages after all. Why should that change now? But the world is changing more quickly than my people realize. The Nerubians' decision to extract the blood for their own ends is proof of that. The Nerubians hold a watchtower not far from here. The ones who survived the pit could not have gotten too far. We should give chase immediately. The world watch over. Come with me. You need to know what you fight against. I do. Unseeming shift. See creatures in the unseeming. Creatures in the unseeming can see you. The Rubian Empire? In a safe place, slowly healing. So where are we on this map? We're getting sucked further and further into this place. Away from the light. Oh. 
someone was here first. Not a battle. A hunt. The trail runs cold. Check the watchtower. How'd you get over this so quick? Look at them all just flapping around up there. Spider City. This entire place, if you turn on uh, arachnophobia mode, would just turn into Crab City. <laughs> so, your path leads you here. It would seem our trail runs cold here. Where do we go from here? The City of Threads. The heart of Ajkahet. Bled dry and dying. None who enter leave in one piece. Your friend is likely dead. But I know you will not accept that. So you follow your path and I will follow mine. You have survived so far. Keep doing so. I hope we meet again. And off she goes. What is this thing? Spindle? The bizarre creature's eyes remain locked upon you, unwavering. It nudges something toward you, a scroll with a thick seal of violet wax. A guiding thread. The words on the parchment appear burned, not written. A venomous tang singes your nose. Blind and alone, you stumble in the dark. I offer you a thread to cling to. Follow it. Should you wish to find your allies. And off Spindle goes. Follow Spindle towards the city. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait up, Spindle. You move too quickly. And then out of sight. The lightless channels. What are you doing, monk? Hide from danger with the help of your spider guide. Watch and lurk, drudges. There will be no interruptions on Ascension Day. Follow Spindle across the bridge. Go Spindle, go, go, go. Sureki Screamer? Scurry on, little Scarab. The Weaver bids you welcome. What? The Weaver's Lair, what? Who sent you? 
So you were the good spiders, I guess? My wares! At last, our threads entwine. Ah, there's the little morsel now. Come in, come in. You are most welcome here. A little weave rat told me you were right. So, you followed my guiding line to its terminus? For both of our sakes, I am glad that your zeal outpaces your survival instinct. <laughs>